you know, if, if our general ledger provider or our FP&A tool provider came to us and said, we've got a pretty cool AI tool, you should look at it. We probably might roll our eyes a little bit until recently uh, and think of that as something that our customers would, interest, would be interested in. How, why would we in finance be have, have that much of a need for it? We're now taking that mentality with a task force that we structured with representatives on each and every function and turning it on its head. So we have people in customer support, professional services, uh, HR, uh, contracts, legal and accounting, as well as accounting, all of those functions across the business who are part of this task force. And we are in turn charging them to come with guidelines set up uh, in particular on security and compliance, which it's easy, as you know, in many of these kind of new frontiers for people to sprint ahead and think of the use cases. However, data privacy, data protection, just overall security and compliance has become so much more of a topic for businesses. And as, as a result, you know, for the finance, for the CFO and the finance office that we've realized through some prior uh, lessons that we, we first need to stake out those parameters, the, the, the frameworks within which we want them to operate. But nonetheless, we do want them to run out, get serve as a sponge to figure out Take HR. What in HR is regenerative AI doing today? And then we've provided basically a framework for those teams to fill out. And then each function has to circle back to our task force and present in a series of phases uh, how they're going to make use of AI. And what we've said is the baseline is every function has to present a use case, an application of AI. Nobody can say it doesn't apply to us. CFO Thought Leader is made possible by Planful.